Hey folks, it's Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic here on YouTube. Um, what I'm doing today is something that I thought may be interesting to people and maybe it won't be, but I see the popularity of Snap-on Tools on a lot of YouTube channels. So I've been buying Snap-on Tools for quite a few years and that's how I garnered my collection and I got a good amount of money tied up in them. But when I was doing the uh, other video on the wire crimpers and the wire strippers, and what I did was I went and looked through my receipts, and I'm not my old receipts, and I'm not sure why I went there to look, but I did when I was uh, looking at those wire strippers and crimpers. And in doing that, I started looking through my stack of receipts. I wish I would have kept more re the receipts for all of my tools, which I did. But a lot of these are over the year 2004 to the year 2005 time period. Um, some two, there's a 2006. But they're, they're all in that area. So we're looking at 10 years back, 11, 12 years back. So what I thought might be pretty neat is uh, just to see if the tools are still available, how much the prices have changed. So I've made a list and I got some of my tools out and I figured what the heck, I'll look them up, see what they are now, go from my receipts and what I had then. So I tried to get the right part number, some of them have been slightly upgraded, you know, rather than ending in an A, they now end in a B, but they look like the same tool, some are the same quality, you know, some probably aren't going to be because I know some of them are made somewhere else now. But overall, I tried to get comparable stuff. And if I say it's discontinued and you know different, please let me know. So I took the time, pulled the tools out so I can actually show you what they are. And um, we'll go through them and I'll give you a then and now price. Like I said, I tried to be as accurate as I could with them. So if I'm not, I apologize, but uh, this will probably be a two-part series. I'll probably you know, do half in one series and about half in the other series. So, uh, all right, well, let's start. So the first thing that we have is a, an SF936 which you know Sierra Foxtrot 936 which is this here flex head ratchet and by the way I love this thing this thing is an awesome tool um, snap-on tool re review just showed his uh, I had this upgraded the head actually it broke here and a couple of screws were missing and they actually upgraded this to what I think is now the new 80 tooth head they did that for me so anyhow that's a good tool so with saying that I paid and like I said this is 04, 05, 06 time frame I paid $130 for that it's now $189.95 um, of course like I said, you know, it has an updated head and stuff like that, but that's the price increase. Um, the next thing that I have is a flare nut five piece, and it's a it's a metric set, and it's a their combination flare open, and they go from ten, eleven, twelve. 13 and 14. It's a five-piece set. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give the numbers on all these because some of them are rather long. But I paid 148.60 for that. Now that is a blue point and not a snap-on. Now the comparable set that I found is $207 in snap-on. So you know that's oh, stink bug. Bye bye. Bye bye. So that you know that's a pretty pretty decent price increase. The next one that I have is my snap-on multimeter. Now, the sad part about this is um, when I bought it, you know, I paid $148.60 for it. Within a month of having it, I dropped it and smashed the LCD screen. 
so it's been junk ever since uh, now as you know I didn't even get a price you can go get a, a multimeter that'll do the same stuff as this probably quite a bit cheaper because stuff has progressed and gotten cheaper um, okay the next thing is just a single socket this is uh, um, a 10 millimeter shallow socket uh, 12 point um, it's a uh, tango mic mic one zero I paid nine dollars and twenty cents for it why I bought the single one I don't know it's probably before I really need a met needed a metric set for anything and I just needed the one now this one socket is fifteen dollars and eighty cents so let's change on that um, okay the, the next thing are some of my electronics tools because as some of you know I had a compu computer business at one time so I was actually buying the electronic tools now the um, the uh, actually the one here is the needle nose pliers it's an echo 703 alpha charlie golf needle nose pliers i paid 3350 they are now 54 dollars and 75 cents the next ones are Echo 710 Alpha Charlie Golf and um, they are they've been upgraded these electronic ones they are now a B Bravo in place of the A Alpha that's the difference I think the tools pretty much the same but uh, they were 44.95 when I bought them they are now 70 75 the next one are Echo 709 Alpha Charlie Golf and like I said that A has been upgraded to a B Bravo I paid 3525 for these they are now in the book for 6325 um, these are one that I will say I can't find in there I looked in the book and I looked online it's not in their small electronic tools anymore so I don't know what the price is I tried to look um, even used I can't really find them but this is the number five Alpha Charlie Papa and I tried to replace it with a B and I couldn't find it if you can find them let me know let me know what the price is now but the price back then was twenty dollars and twenty five cents as I said I can't find these in the catalog or elsewhere okay the next one is tango sierra romeo 600 this is the lug nut socket it's the if you have a rounded off lug nut you put this over and you can turn it on there and it'll grip onto it then they give you the tool to smack it out now i couldn't find this single one this is uh... all i could find was the set um, so the sets eighty nine dollars so that's what forty five bucks a piece now if you could get them a piece uh... i paid thirty six dollars ninety five cents so not too much of an increase in there one of the other things i have the receipt for is my blue point plasma cutter and i paid one thousand four hundred ninety one dollars when i bought that uh... i know you can buy real decent ones for probably about half that price maybe less maybe a little more I'm not sure I didn't really look them up but that was what I paid for the plasma cutter and I said I think it's a blue point I didn't walk over and look let me walk over and look yes it is a plasma cutter um, and what the receipt has is plasma 115 as the part number for it I can tell you one thing I was never happy with that blue point plasma cutter part of the reason being it just never seemed to work right but the the, the trigger mechanism and stuff and you had a, a spark it I, I just didn't like it I actually paid three hundred sixty five dollars and bought an upgrade kit 
that upgraded all the wiring in the head for $365 and that has worked great ever since. Since I got that I have no problem with that thing. It works wonderful. So for the money I spent I certainly wasn't happy with it. Um, the next thing that I got is a quarter inch metric socket set. Uh, it's a 13 piece and the number on that is 113 Tango Mike Mike Yankee and I paid hundred and fifteen dollars for it when I bought it back then and now from what I can see you only get a 12 piece and it's hundred and fifty six dollars new from Snap-on. Now the next one is uh, Tango Delta Tango Delta Mike 500 this is a seventy-six piece tap and die set. So uh, what I paid for that back then was three hundred and forty dollars. Now it is four hundred and nineteen dollars and seventy-six cents. Now keep in mind these prices are the online prices sometimes I know you get better prices on the truck so um, you know you may get that better price if you go on the truck but still in all that's you know seventy seventy nine dollar difference let me get a drink here The next one is a 29 piece drill bit set, and that's Delta Bravo Tango Bravo 129. That's this set. This is my backup set. Usually, only I use it. I keep it hidden. Um, as you see, I've broke some of them, and you know, as happens. But that is that drill bit set high speed thunder bit set wow I paid hundred seventy seven dollars and thirty five cents for that the snap on price now I think I have it wrote down here I think it's two hundred ninety dollars for the same set and these drill bits don't ask me why but these drill bits are, I think they have, I, I'm not 100% sure. I, somebody told me that the taps, the dies, and the drill bits, they would actually warrant them. So I, I don't know. I broke them. They're not in here. They're not replaced. I didn't have a snap-on man for a while, so I probably just said, screw it. But they are snap-on. The next thing is a flywheel turner, which is Alpha 114 Alpha. That's this. Turn your flywheel when you're working on stuff, turn the engine, get her up number one on compression, whatever you need to do to turn it. I paid $71 for that it's now a hundred and ten dollars the next tool is Yankee Alpha Sierra 222 and this is a butane soldering tool so I paid fifty one ninety five for this it is now seventy seven fifty alright I think I am going to end part one there. Um, we'll be back with part number two uh, shortly. And once again, this is your favorite 98 percenter on YouTube, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic, saying if you can get somebody else to do it, you're probably better off. It's probably cheaper than buying all these high dollar tools. Okay, see ya.